Alright fellas, how you doing? Hope you're going well as always, hope you guys have a great day so far. And I've got a Halo 5 discussion video for you guys today about microtransactions being in Halo 5 and the ability to buy rec packs. Also I quickly want to add if you guys haven't checked out my previous video, I discussed what's in the Halo 5 Clicks Edition, which I've also pre-ordered to add to that fellas. And I also discussed what's in what are Halo 5 rec packs. So if you guys want to check out that video, that adds in a bit of insight to what I'm talking about in this video. So that'd be greatly appreciated if you guys checked it out. But also to quickly add in before I get into the discussion video today, I just want to quickly say that I got a comment on my previous video that I talked too fast in my last video. And I actually went back and I watched it and I was like, yeah, I did talk too fast, fellas. But I did have like five or six coffees before that. So I also just want to quickly apologize if you guys couldn't really understand what I was saying. But I was pretty much on that coffee buzz, which you have to in the morning, fellas. You've got to have that morning coffee just to get you through the day. As I beast this elite with his own ghost. Oh, love this shit, fellas. Love this stuff. And by stuff, I obviously mean all the cool stuff you can do in Halo, like kick enemies off vehicles, assassinations. That's one of the reasons why I loved Halo 4, man, was the assassinations. They were so fun to do. Anyway, fellas, it's going a wee bit off track. Let's get into this actual discussion of this video, and that's microtransactions in Halo 5. And if you guys don't know what microtransactions are, they aren't really full DLC, because take Call of Duty, for example. If you think about, like, Call of Duty, like, two, three years ago, right? had DLC every couple of months, like the first DLC, the second DLC, the third DLC, and the fourth, and that was it. But now you've seen all these, mo all these microtransactions, and it started with Black Ops 2, how you had all the camos you could buy, if you guys remember them. And now with Advanced Warfare, it's just gone on to a whole other level of, some people call it bullshit, I honestly don't mind microtransactions, because they are optional, like, you obviously don't have to buy them. Then some people argue that it's kind of like a pay to win situation, like, the more you spend your money, more likely you are to get good stuff which gives you an advantage. It's kind of two points you can you can look at them. But honestly fellas, I do not mind microtransactions because because as I mentioned with Call of Duty, they're optional. And it's also the same with Halo 5 and heaps of games that have microtransactions, they're optional. You don't have to buy them. So I honestly do not mind them. And to be honest fellas, I might buy a few, right? Because these requisition packs do have a chance you can get some cool stuff. So I'm obviously obviously not gonna be spending hundreds and hundreds on my hard earned dosh on these microtransactions, these little rec pack things. But every now and again, I probably might buy a few. If I'm bored and I want to see if I can get some cool new loot, I'm honestly, I might do that. And there's nothing wrong with that because it's optional. You don't have to buy them. But then there's some people that don't even buy any DLC at all. But also, if I was speaking about DLC, all the DLC in Halo 5, all the map packs, all the three map packs that are going to be out by June next year, they are all free. So we're getting all these free maps. And as far as we know, the only DLC we have to buy is these rec packs that are optional. As I keep mentioning fellas, these are optional, you don't have to buy them. And that's why I think that this is not a big deal and we shouldn't really take it too seriously. And it's optional fellas, as I keep mentioning, it's optional, it's optional, it's optional. But it is, you know, we don't have to buy them. And, and if you guys want to, I'm guessing they're only going to be about, I live in New Zealand, so probably four or five dollars maybe for like a pack of three, I'm guessing. But that's just an example fellas, it could be like ten for five, who knows, it's just, it's just an example that I thought about. So don't take it too seriously, it's just an example that I thought about as I mentioned. But that brings me to the end of this video fellas, and the most important thing about this video is what you guys think. So be sure to let me know your opinion in the comment section down below so we can get an idea on how people are thinking about this. But as always fellas, thank you for watching, it is greatly appreciated. Be sure to like me on Facebook, Zombie Band Gamer, to keep up to date. Stay safe, stay tuned, and I'll see you fellas on the next one.